Welcome to AGK's Vinyl Life. I'm your host, Anthony K. And on this week's episode, I thought I'd do a little vlog. Uh, we've been in pandemic for over a year now. And uh, here in Toronto, where I live, we just went back into our, I don't know how many lockdown uh, as of today. Uh, we had just come out of lockdown uh, two weeks ago and boom, they stuck us back in lockdown for another four weeks. So I'm gonna visit some socially distancing stores. Uh, I'm gonna check out Walmart because uh, up until now, Walmart in my area has not stocked vinyl. So I'm gonna go see if they stock vinyl yet. Uh, I know the last time I was in a couple of months ago uh, with family to do some shopping, there was no vinyl. So let's see if there's anything's changed there. Uh, then I'm gonna go to a local record store chain and check them out. And then after that, I might drop by my, my uh, good friend uh, Rick at Rick's Recollections and see what's new with him. So I don't know how, what I'll accomplish in today's vlog, uh, but that's my plan. Let's head out and let's do this. So my uh, first stop uh, today, I'm gonna hit Walmart. Uh, the Walmart I'm going to is not my closest, but second closest, but it's the biggest Walmart. It's one of these big super sized Walmarts. I know there's been a lot of discussion in the vinyl community um, the last few months about Walmart vinyl and uh, I'm sorry uh, you know I support mom and pop record, record stores but uh, I'm gonna buy vinyl wherever it's the cheapest if they have what I'm looking for you know not all mom and pop record stores have what I'm looking for either so I'm gonna buy my vinyl where I can if it's uh, affordable and it's the best price out there I'm gonna buy it there uh, it's nothing it's not has nothing to do with supporting uh, your local mom-and-pop store or or and not supporting these big chain stores it's about making my vinyl dollar go as far as possible which is what I'm gonna try to do and so people have been talking about bashing uh, Walmart vinyl saying that it's inferior people the vinyls all pressed at the same companies all they do is they throw a different color in for Walmart exclusive vinyl it's just a different color there's no it's the same plates that are pressing all the other pressings it's the same pressing plant that's pressing all the other pressings it's just a color people there's no inferiority in it uh, that's the only difference in Walmart vinyl so that 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 rumor that Walmart vinyl is inferior is completely and totally ridiculous and false. Uh, so let's see if my Walmart is stuck in vinyl. Uh, last time I was there, it wasn't. And uh, we'll see what happens. We're almost there. And uh, I saw Frank Landry, Channels Art 33 RPMs video uh, yesterday. Uh, and he had just gone to his local Walmart, which was just stocking vinyl. And he lives in Winnipeg, uh, Manitoba. And he showed some ridiculous prices on vinyl at that Walmart. So let's see what happens here. We are almost there. And the next time you'll see me, I'll be in the store. I'm just gonna go park now and let's see what happens at this Walmart. Do they have vinyl? Is it affordable? Uh, here we are, we're just pulling in now. And let's check it out. Well, I've just pulled into the Walmart parking lot and I don't think I'm gonna be shopping here. There is a lineup to get into the Walmart. I ain't standing in a lineup to go record shopping. That is for sure. Uh, we are supposedly in a, a new lockdown again as of today. And by the number of people in this parking lot, which is absolutely crazy, you would not know there's a pandemic. It looks like a regular, <laughs> a regular day in the life of Toronto. That is just nuts. So we're gonna head out on the highways. Uh, maybe I'm gonna try that other Walmart. And we'll see if there's a lineup at the other Walmart. I'll be back. So here we are at my second Walmart. This is at Square One Shopping Center, which is a, a big super mall in my neighborhood. And uh, let's see what's going on here. Is there a lineup? Can I get in? What's the deal? I don't see a line. Uh, well, we'll find out in a minute. So the lineup was actually bigger than I thought. Uh, just from my previous vantage point, uh, I could not see the lineup. And so that's strike two for Walmart vinyl shopping here in Mississauga, uh, Toronto, uh, during a lockdown pandemic. That, that's strike two. Uh, I'm gonna hit one more Walmart. 
which is at another big mall at the Aaron Mills Shopping Center. Uh, another big mall. I'm going to hit that Walmart, see if I can get into that one. Uh, hopefully no line up there. But at least there, there is also a Sunrise Records, which I wanted to hit as well. So let's hope we don't have strike three on the Walmart vinyl shopping today. So heading down the highway. We're rolling down the highway to see what's at Aaron Mills Town Center. This is a little haul. Look, hope you all appreciate this, uh, this trek I'm taking for entertainment value. <laughs> yeah, the, their inquiring news reporter wants to know. We've struck out at two Walmarts. This is the third and last try. Uh, strike three, we're gonna be out of the mall game. So let's, it's a little bit of a trek down the highway here to, the, to my next closest Walmart. Let's see what happens. So here we are at Aaron Mills Shopping Center. I think it's called Aaron Mills Town Center. Uh, we are just pulling into the parking lot here of the Walmart. And what is the situation here? Do I have to line up at this one as well? Because if I do, then strike three, you're out, Walmart. And I see a line. Oh my gosh. Well, that's what it's like to shop here in Mississauga, Ontario during a pandemic, people. That is what it's like. It's a small line, but I won't stand in any line for records other than the record store day line. <laughs> but it ain't going to be me today here at Air Mills Town Center. So after driving to three different Walmarts, and encountering lineups at all three. Walmart is a bust, so I guess Walmart will remain a mystery for at least another month because this current lockdown that we entered today uh, will be going for four weeks. It'll be going till the end of April. Uh, so let's maybe I'll revisit the Walmart story uh, on a future video in May <laughs> because I'm not going to attempt to go to another Walmart again uh, for this month uh, with the situation. That's what it's like to go shopping here in uh, Toronto, Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, uh, in the height uh, a year later in a pandemic. As you can see, lineups, massive lineup at that first Walmart. The second Walmart had a, a smaller lineup, but and this one also a smaller lineup, but I'm not going to stand in any line just to go browse uh, records with not even the, uh, you know, a clear intent of picking up anything in particular, just to have a look around. I'm not going to stand in a lineup. Uh, and that's the world we're living in now here. Uh, so now I'm going to head out of the car and we're going into Aaron Mills Town Center, which has a Sunrise Records, and hopefully we can have a look around in there. So this is Aaron Mills Town Center in uh, Western Mississauga. We're just going to head in and see what's going on. So we're in Aaron Mills Town Center now and we're heading towards the Sunrise. Not too many people in here. Uh, this current lockdown uh, as you can see, uh, still allows some shopping, but not much. Here's a victim of the pandemic. Timothy's World of Coffees shut down. This is the sad reality of this pandemic is a lot of stores have suffered and businesses have suffered. Another business over there that has clearly suffered. And uh, the Bay appears to be closed. It's, the Hudson Bay department store is closed not permanently closed, but obviously cannot be allowed open in the pandemic. Uh, certain stores are allowed to have be open. The bay is clearly not. They are closed up. So is this uh, last place. Last places are now closed again. But Sunrise Records is open. So let us see what's going on. This is Sunrise Records. Uh, I've, the only, pretty much only Canadian record store chain out there now. And uh, this is Sunrise. This is their Air Town, Iron Mills Town Center location. And they are open for business. Very few people in the store. Let's have a look at what's going on. And I can see uh, some vinyl here. And this must be their latest vinyl here and here and CDs. And there's even some uh, Record Store Day Black Friday leftovers. Teenage Head, that was Record Store Day Black Friday. Uh, we got Beck. Some Black Friday leftovers. Rolling Stones, not fade away. Look at that, Rolling Stones, not fade away. 
You are the problem here. Unwritten law. Didn't think I'd find some record store day stuff here today. What do we have here? The Rolling Stones Metamorphosis Black Friday. So there you go, Sunrise Records has got some leftover Black Friday albums. Prices are uh, usual Canadian record store prices. This is what we pay in record stores on average. 35 and up. What else do we have here? New Lana Del Rey. The Dead South. Kings of Leon. Weezer, OK Human. The Blues album by Whitesnake. Lil Kim. Foo Fighters. Neil Young's The Times. Sam Smith, live at Abbey Road Studios. Joe Baptiste, We Are One. Spinal Tap. Xena, Princess Warrior soundtrack. Matrix soundtrack, all on picture disc. Used records. <laughs> this is Sunrise Records, what they call vintage vinyl. I have dug through this bin before, and trust me, not a lot to see here. Vinyl box sets. Final box sets. What are they getting soundtracks? Huh? Yeah, soundtrack digging. Pretty all, all pretty basic stuff. Everything, as you can see, starts at $30. There's the odd one below $30, but most of this stuff is $32, $34, $39. Welcome to Record shop, Shopping in Canada for new vinyl. Punk. What do they have for punk? Apparently Weezer is punk. <laughs> so, not much here to be seen. Metal. That is uh, Detroit. Alice Cooper, Detroit. Some ghost. Alice Cooper is apparently under metal. It just shows that the record store here really doesn't have a clue how to classify uh, records because this is uh, classified as metal, apparently. Alice Cooper is metal, but I've seen that before in other uh, record stores. Alice Cooper put it under metal, which they are not. So that was record shopping here at Sunrise Records in the Iron Mill Town Center. Sunrise Records, they are still open. And uh, we're going to head off now to uh, my local record store, Rick's Recollections. Going to drop in on Rick. I picked up from Sunrise uh, Charlie XCX, How I'm Feeling, uh, on a, I believe it's on a colored vinyl. Uh, it's one that's been on my uh, want list for a while. A um, little bit of pop music. Uh, Charlie XCX, I have most of her other albums. So I picked that up and I picked up Concrete Blonde Bloodletting, uh, which I've been searching for a copy of for a while. And both of them were under $30, which is <laughs> good pricing here in Canada. So we're going to head in the car and head off to Port Credit, Ontario. It's going to take me about 15 minutes to drive there from here. And we're going to see what they have. So there appears to be a fourth Walmart. I forgot about this one. It just happens to be en route to the uh, record store I'm heading to now. I had not planned to go there to this one. I didn't think I'd be coming this way, but I am now driving by a fourth Walmart. So I'm gonna take a chance uh, to see if we can get lucky at this Walmart and not have a big lineup or any sort of lineup that would keep me waiting for a few minutes. And let's see what the situation is here. And by the looks of it, this Walmart has a humongous lineup. I ain't gonna stand up in any lineup, except on record store day, to go browsing for vinyl. So Walmart, a big bust. That's what it's like to shop here in Mississauga during a pandemic. Walmart, strike for your, the fat lady has sung.
So we're just arriving in beautiful Port Credit, which is right on the south side of Mississauga. Uh, Port Credit's a small town that's been enveloped by Mississauga. Uh, it's right on the lakeshore of Lake Ontario. Beautiful little town. Uh, it tends to be a little bit of the um, upper class, I guess you should say. Um, it's, it's not cheap to live down here. It, it's a little more expensive, so... It borders on Oakville, which is a very expensive neighborhood. So Port Credit is a little bit higher uh, in price to live down here. Beautiful little town. To my right, if I turned, the, if I went right here, I would get to a place called Arch Top Cafe, which is a combination coffee house and record store. But I have not gone in there since the pandemic began. Uh, in a year, I haven't been in there because they have their records in the basement. And it's very, very tiny and very packed together. I would not feel comfortable crate digging uh, in a tiny, tiny little closed space like that during the pandemic. Uh, I know they didn't even have the record section open for a long time. They were only serving takeout coffee. I suspect uh, that's the situation again now with the lockdown. But they tend to be a little overpriced. Um, they have a lot of dollar bins, which are sometimes I find something in. Um, but they're, they're definitely not a record store. I visit more than a couple times in a year. We're gonna check out Rick's. This is Rick's we're pulling up to now. Let's see what's happening at Rick's Recollections. So here we are at Rick's Recollections. We're gonna head into the store now and see what's new at Rick's. Uh, what you got in the window here? We're gonna take a look. What's new in Rick's? This is normally where he has his latest trade-ins. Oh, so we will see what's going on. A few people in today. A couple of people in the store. We're gonna browse through here. So there we go. Some new trade, reasonably new trade ins. So we're looking at another pile of uh, recent releases. A lot of these are. Uh, imports and Korean pressings that he got in. Korean pressings of various famous albums. These are mostly Korean pressings, I believe. Gary Moore. Part of noise. Yardbirds. Vandenberg. Megadeth. Lita Ford. Wow, wow, wow. The door is clean. Between our waves. Some interesting stuff here. We'll see what else he has. So after crate digging here in Rick's Recollections, I found three things that I'm going to pick up. Uh, I've original first pressing in, in really, really fantastic condition of George Shearing, Soft and Silky. Uh, Rush Moving Pictures Live 2011. I've never ever seen this before, so I'm going to grab that. And uh, Van Halen, which I have needed to get back in my collection for a while. This is a uh, recent repress that is used in great shape. So I found three things here today that I will be picking up. I'm just waiting to check out here at Rick's Recollection. Just I checking mean, out. I just don't get it. You know, like people are supposed to stay home. Like, we shouldn't even, they should lock everything down. Shut, shut everything. I mean, yeah, and grocery stores, everything, and just say, listen, you know what? You got two days to get your groceries, get your acting gear, and that's it, because we're going to close everything. Exactly. Like, you know, I mean, 
you know, so so Walmart is op operating at fifty percent capacity. That's still a thousand people. Easy. Yeah, I went there just to to, to browse to see if, what the vinyl situation was, because people have been talking about it. And I'm not going to stand in a freaking one hour line yeah. to browse a vinyl. Then I went over to Sunrise to see how they're doing. They were suffering, like they have no, they have no sort of stock whatsoever. No. Like they're obviously not getting any new releases or anything. And oh, yeah. you can tell that they're suffering. So then the last stop on my vlog was good old Rick's and look what I've got folks. Hi. I've got fun, two, three, four, one, two, three. I got five things I'm checking out here at Rick's. And how are you doing, Rick? Are you uh, surviving the pandemic okay? Business uh, good? It's a start, it's a start, you see. The problem is it's getting stopped. There's nothing coming across the border. So people come down to Rick's, come down to Rick's, support your local record store. Give this guy some business, you know, we got to keep our, our Mom and pop stars go on desperately. Tuesday, Tuesday to Saturday, 10 to 5. You heard a man, Tuesday to Saturday, 10 to 5. Come on down, support Rick. I'm doing my best to support him whenever I can. That's why I'm buying these five today. Help him uh, pay his bills. Thank you. And it's a fantastic record store, as I always say. Come see Rick. Uh, he's still open, even in our lockdown. He's he's doing what he can to, to keep afloat. And. Uh, we got to support our record stores. So there you have it, folks. My haul from Rick's Recollections was the most successful of all my visits today. Uh, for original Canadian first press of Heart Dreamboat Annie. Uh, the Tubes. Trash. Uh, tubes Rarities and Smash Hits. A Canadian pressing of that. Van Halen. And a recent reissue that has been probably played like once. Beautiful shape. Good price. Uh, Rush. Moving Pictures Live. In 2011, I've never seen this album before, so I had to grab it. And last but not least, George Shearing, Soft and Silking, an original first press in, I would say, near mint condition. So a really successful haul from Rick's Recollections here in Park Credit, Ontario. And from Sunrise Records today, I did manage to pick up, for a reasonable price, Concrete Blonde Bloodletting. This is a recent reissue. Concrete Blonde Bloodletting has been on my wish list for a while. I haven't been able to find a used copy anywhere. So I did find this repress, so happy to finally have that in my collection. Fabulous, fabulous album. And the second thing I picked up at Sunrise Records was Charlie XCX, uh, How I'm Feeling Now, her latest album, which has been sitting in my uh, shopping cart in <laughs> Urban Outfitters and uh, Amazon for a, for a couple of months now. Uh, just been watching the prices, and Sunrise Records had a really good price on this album and I have other Charlie XCX albums I enjoy her music uh, and it's definitely in the pop vein so happy to have this and this is the neon neon orange version of the vinyl limited edition vinyl and found this at a great price at sunrise as well so that's it that's all that's my haul and uh, time to head home so that's it that's all I hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> a disaster trying to go to Walmart for Walmart's couldn't get into any of them. I am not going to stand in a lineup to browse vinyl. So Walmart was a bust. I'll revisit that uh, story in a month from now. I'm going to try to go to Walmart again in May and see what happens that then. Uh, Sunrise Records, obviously suffering. Didn't find too much in there. Uh, honestly, Sunrise Records is really poorly organized. Uh, they don't keep any sort of alphabetical order or anything. It's just a disaster. Clearly, they haven't been getting new stock, which is a shame. You know, I try to support Sunrise, but th their prices are so-so. Uh, Amazon still beats uh, Sunrise most of the time. But the two I did find today were on my wish list and were a good price. So I gave Sunrise a little bit business. But clearly, they're, they're suffering from the pandemic. Um, but Rick's Recollections... Uh, once again, didn't let me down. I have once found some wonderful stuff in there. That's my video for this week. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up always make everybody feel good. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any of my videos. And last but not least, uh, comments always welcome down below. I always reply. It may take me a little time, but I always reply to every comment I get. And don't forget my Instagram at agk underscore lifetime of vinyl where i try to post my spin of the day every day and people you're welcome to dm me there send me direct messages there if you want to talk to me and uh have any questions things you want to talk about happy to, to talk to people in dms over there and i'll see you guys real soon in my next video and as i always say rock and roll